Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I wanted to talk about skincare. Um, I posted a picture not too long ago on my Instagram and I got a lot of questions as to what type of face masks I use, what's my skincare routine. So I just wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite skincare stuff. I already washed my face and lately I've been loving this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea face wash. Um, my face has been very dry and this has helped it a lot. It just feels so much better. Like right now I don't have any lotion or anything and it doesn't feel as stiff as if I was to use like a regular bar soap. Um, for face wash, I also love this one. This one works so good. It takes off your makeup like really, really good. Um, and then of course I washed it with my facial brush. Okay, so usually <laughs> my head looks like a big egg. Okay, so I wash my face and the next step is I use a face mask. So there's two types of face masks face masks that I use. The first one is this Pure Clay Mask um, from L'Oreal. Um, they have different kinds, but this is like my old time favorite. I have sensitive skin and I this one does not irritate me at all. Um, so let me put that on while I talk. And then I just use like a regular like foundation brush. It smells pretty good too. Some face masks smell ugly, this one doesn't. So then, this one is supposed to brighten dual skin. Um, they have like different color ones for different things, but I really like this one. Okay, so I don't know if you could tell earlier my face was red because of the brush. Um, so I have really sensitive skin, so it's, trust me, I've been through hell and back with all kinds of skincare stuff, trying to find what works for my skin. So what I'm going to show you guys is not going to work for everyone, but it's just an example of how you should, um, kick up your, like, skincare, skincare routine. Usually I'll alternate, like, I'll do either this face mask or I'll use this, uh, natural aqua gel, it's called Cure. And this... I think out of all these products, this might be my number one. Aside from like how good a face mask feels, this is legit like, all right, my camera had to take a break. So now that we're back, you can see how my face mask is like drying. It dries um, like dry to the touch. It's not sticky, uh, but I was telling you guys about this. So I swear this is like the bomb. If you have not tried this, I like this I recommend this out of everything I think this is like the best thing because it's like more like a, of a natural type of skincare it doesn't really have a lot of like chemicals and all that uh, so basically what it does it removes your dead skin cells so I'll show you guys after I take this off but it is a little pricey I think it was like 40 bucks and I I bought it in a I think it's a Japanese store um, I'll put the details below or you can get it on Amazon um, I know they have it there too, but this is like bomb. <clears throat> okay, so I just took off the face mask. Um, now I'm going to show you guys with the Cure Gel. I'll just use one pump today. Usually I just use one pump actually. So what I do is I just put it everywhere. And then I actually let it sit there for a little bit. Because if you go in right away, it's not really going to... I don't know, I feel like it doesn't work the same. So I just let it sit there. And then I slowly work it in. And then it works as it dries. So you'll feel, it literally feels like a gel. But yeah, just, you like swirl it lightly, go in circles, up and down. Oh, you see that one? Disgusting. And then I can just feel all the dead skin cells falling off. I'm gonna go in deep. Do you guys see all of this? Oh, yeah. All this is like all nasty stuff. I don't even know if you guys can see. Can you guys see? So after it dries out, you just rinse it out. So... 
and I swear my face already feels so much better it feels softer it looks better like the pores don't look that big I'm telling you guys try this this is what's up also two exfoliators that I really really love one is for the lips this is called Hanalei sugar lip scrub it smells really good it smells like lemony but it's just like a regular sugar scrub for the lips it works really good and then for the face i love this this is a thermologica daily micro foliant what this is is basically a powder um you guys can kind of see how that looks and it activates with water so you just put a little bit on the palm of your hand add like drops of water mix it and then exfoliate your skin it's a gentle exfoliator and that one works if you have a very sensitive skin, that's gonna be really good for you. Okay, so moving on. After I do my like face mask, then I will use a toner. Right now, the only two toners I have are Clinique toners. Um, one is for combination oily, and then one is dry combination. So I will alternate this depending on how my skin is. But on my other video, I I like showed you guys the Pixie Glow Toner, Glow Tonic, I think that's what it's called. I get it at Target and that's my holy grail so far. So I'm going to use the dry combination for today. And I just use it in like in a little pad. And then for lips, my lips always get dry. I always have to get chapstick and this is my go-to now. Since I heard about it, I've been crazy. And I can go back to regular chapstick. So these three right here, these are all Tony and Molly, um, the brand. This is the Master Lab Intense Brightening. It has vitamin C. So this one is if you feel your skin is dull or you just need some fucking brightness, this is what you use. This one's really good. I've used the blue one. It's for hydration and it works really, really good. These two, however, are like my go-to they're less expensive than that one i think maybe like a dollar less but i just used this one on the picture that i posted like a few days ago this is the one i used for my pores and it works so good like i was amazed i was like dang it worked really good um this one is for brightening this one also works really good and they have like a bunch of these so you can Go pick whatever you want. They have one for sensitive skin. They have everything. So next one is this Animal Panda. It's a brightening mask also. As you can tell, I love brightening masks. I really recommend this one also. And then this one, this one's a Leaders, Leaders in Solution. Um, this one's for pores. This one also works really good. Um, and I like this brand because they have a bunch. So if you can read right here... They have all of these. So this is the one that I have, but they have literally all of these to pick from. And this one has two masks in here. Now for under eyes, I love, like these do the job, but I also like to have patches. Um, this one's from Tarte. It's Packle Your Bags. That's what it's called, Packle Your Bags. Um, and this is 911 under eye rescue patches when your dark circles are like popping or like you have a lot of wrinkles You haven't had enough sleep whatever the case is this will work um, Tony and Molly has under eye patches that are a lot cheaper than the start ones They work just as well, and I really really like them. These two are Called miss spa. This is for the lips. This is for the under eyes and these work also all the ones I'm showing you work really good um they feel good they just make your skin feel better i usually use them at night because during the day if i use them before makeup application it doesn't it doesn't work good for me um i always have to like remove it okay but really quick when i don't use a face mask at night for skincare i tried this stem cellular anti-wrinkle anti booster serum and it works so good. I'm not gonna put it on today because I'm gonna do a face mask, but basically one pump, two pumps for the face and then you drag it down to your neck and it's gonna feel really good. I've already talked to you guys about this Ruby's rub. When my like rosacea or whatever I have going on kicks in, like all the redness and the bumps, I put this on and like in two days, it's like completely gone. It's amazing. 
Um, it is CBD alleviating cream. Um, so if you believe in this stuff, you should try it. Um, also, I've been loving this Purity Made Simple Moisturizer. Bomb. I use it every morning, every day. This one, I got like a little like sample thing. It's called Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel from Drunk Elephant. And this brand is kind of pricey, but this is really good. It works so good. Like this is probably, not probably, this is going to be my next... Uh, face moisturizer like I'm saving up for this and let's see eye creams I haven't found like a go-to eye cream but this Olay 7 total effects eye cream I really like it because it has like this shade to it it brightens up the under eye area um and I like it I mean I haven't seen like my wrinkles reduced or like anything like that but it works good and then this one is the Caudalie um, eye lifting balm. I use this when I'm gonna um, apply a lot of eyeshadow. I use it for the bottom and for the top um, just to moisturize my eyelid and it works really good. And last thing, facial spray. Um, I use the MAC Fix Plus when I apply makeup or whatever, but this one, Mario Badescu, I think that's how you say it, um, facial sprays work really good. Like if your face is really dry and you want an extra moist moistness to your face this is really good um i usually spray when my skin feels tight or if i feel like i need some type of hydration to go to sleep or, or morning i mean i use it anytime but i really like these for the night my favorite one is a green one of course but they're both too good i think I, I feel like i talked a lot but basically that's it um if you try these let me know how they work out but i really really recommend them like holy grail this is how I keep my skin looking nice, nice and fresh. And I just had a hydrofacial and I was told my skin was really good. I think it's because of all this shit that I put on my face. So yeah, I hope it works out for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video.